Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology 101. I am your instructor, Cynthia Sanchez, and this tutorial was created especially for you to introduce you to the course and to guide you through navigating this course. This class has both an online lecture component and an in-person laboratory component. This class is taught in a hybrid format, meaning that labs will take place in person and attendance is required in order to successfully complete this course. For spring 2023, our labs will meet in person on the San Jacinto campus in building 1250, room 1265 on Wednesday evenings from 6 p.m. to 8.50 p.m. The lab manual is provided in PDF form at no charge and is downloadable through Canvas. The lecture portion of this class is held completely asynchronously online through Canvas. There will not be any live lectures, though you are responsible for reading the textbook and completing all online assignments, quizzes, and exams. There are no set days or times that you are required to be online for this course. The best way to navigate this course is through the modules page. This course is separated into weekly modules. Each module has a lecture component and a lab component. The lecture component is held asynchronously online. There are no required days or times in which you must be present online for these lectures or lecture assignments. All lecture assignments are due online at the end of the week on Sundays by 11.59 p.m. The lab component of each module requires that you attend lab in person, perform the lab activity, take the quiz, or complete the practical exam. Lab quizzes are given during the first 10 minutes of lab, so showing up on time is very important. Showing up late for a quiz or a practical exam will result in a zero for that assignment, and makeups are not granted under normal circumstances. On the modules page, you will see a link to our online free textbook, a course calendar, a welcome page along with this video, and a PDF of our lab manual. Most of the modules look very similar to one another. You will notice each module has a lecture component and a laboratory component. Once on modules, you can go to the current link and click on the first link. Here you will find the chapter reading and the objectives. Each of these links links directly to a free online textbook for you to use for this course. When you are done, you can click Next. Here you will find study guides and chapter videos. Clicking Next brings you to our first assignment. Each of the weekly discussions are very similar in nature. You will be asked to choose one of the questions below and answer your question fully and completely in 250 words or more. Be sure to be complete and use your own words in order to get full credit for these assignments. Each discussion assignment is worth five points. Next, you will have a chapter exam. The chapter exams have no time limit. However, once you submit an answer to a question, you are not able to go back and change your answers. So be confident of each answer before submitting. And a crossword puzzle. For these crossword puzzles, you will go to the link provided, complete the crossword, go to print, choose print or download as PDF, and save the PDF file to your computer. Then upload your completed PDF crossword file into Canvas. Most weeks for a lecture, you will have a discussion assignment and a crossword assignment. At the end of each chapter, you will also have a chapter exam. Most labs will look something like this. We will usually have an in-person lab quiz that covers the material from the previous lab. Then you may begin working on your laboratory assignments. It is okay to work in groups, but make sure to enter your work individually so that you can get credit for it. Let's take a look at the breakdown of the course. This course is worth a total of 1,000 points. There are 600 points possible for the lecture portion and 400 points possible for the laboratory portion. The lecture assignments include 16 discussion assignments, 16 crossword puzzles, 11 chapter exams, three lecture quizzes, and one online lecture final exam. 
The lab assignments include 15 lab manual assignments, five laboratory quizzes, and three practical exams. We follow the standard grading scale as shown here. The best way to reach me is via email at csanchez at msjc.edu. Thank you for watching.